Okay, I'm going to start to record and Zoom is connecting to Facebook Live. So let me see, I'll pull up the chat. All right, so let us know that you're here. Say hi in the chat. Tell us where you're from. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, we just sent out the Zoom link for other people because um, I think somebody said that they didn't have it. So we just sent it out to everyone. So we're just gonna get started. Alina, I'm gonna make you live and make you the main presenter here. Oops. I think I have to stop sharing my screen. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hi, right, we're in business. I uh, can't hear you. Are you muted? No. I'm not muted. Can anybody else hear me? If you guys can hear me, like say in the chat or. Yes, so Kat can hear me. Everybody can hear me except for you, Helen. Let me just type that to her. Lena, we can hear you on Facebook, so, and they can hear you in Zoom. For some reason, I just can't hear you, so just go ahead. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to start my live video, so. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm welcoming my people on my Facebook Live as well. So we got a couple Facebook Lives going here and a Zoom call. And for those of you who guys are just joining, we're on day two of our Clean Food Challenge with Natural Zing and Pure Joy Planet. And we've teamed up because we have so much in common with the raw foods and healthy eating. And we just want to share with both of our audiences uh, how easy it is to go for five days a month on clean eating. And it's hard for a lot of people to kind of get their mind around like, you know, I hear so many people say, and you probably hear this too, Helen, I eat healthy. But then when you look at their diet, they're still eating gluten. And, you know, I want to say something about gluten real quickly today. And that is that... Um, there is something in gluten, even if you say, oh, I'm not allergic to wheat or I'm not gluten intolerant, called bromine or bromide. And they replaced the iodine that they were adding to our flowers years ago with bromide. And bromide is very toxic and it can mess with your hormones. It can cause you to gain weight. There's so many problems with bromide. So, you know, eating a clean diet and getting off the grains, the gluten, you know, the dairy, all the things that clog us up and make us sick. So if, you, if you're getting sick, and you say I eat healthy, then you need to re-examine what's in your diet that's not working for you because it usually is about your intestines being clogged. So I'm going to start today with a, a really awesome fun salad. This is called like the big fat salad because this could be a meal. This could be your lunch. And when I first heard that, like eating salad for a meal, like that's crazy. That's like an appetizer. But I'm going to show you how you can make a really big fat delicious salad and have it be something that uh, becomes a meal replacement. You can start having this for dinner. And I think dinner should be the lightest meal of the day. So this could be a great dinner, just eating salad before sundown, maybe six or seven uh, in the winter, maybe a little earlier even. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you just how to assemble a salad. And I thought I would include like how I cut my vegetables because even that, like I have a culinary school and a lot of people don't even know really how to cut vegetables or what knives to use. So I'm just going to go through that quickly. We're trying to keep this under 30 minutes, although I know we started late. But the first thing is to get find your favorite lettuce. This one is a green leaf, and I've got about four cups of green leaf lettuce. I've got it in this big bowl because I want something big to mix it in, and then I can transfer it to my salad bowl when I'm ready. So we're going to start with that, and then let's do a cucumber. Now that it's summer, uh, coming up on summer, it's getting warmer. 
Um, you don't want to do a lot of cucumbers in the winter because they're very cooling, but summer and the warmer months is great. What I do with cucumbers is I stripe them, which means I do like every other strip to get some of that skin off. And the reason for that is if you ever bitten into a cucumber and it's like all this skin and it's kind of hard to chew, especially for people that are new to eating raw foods. So when you stripe it, one, it looks really pretty and two, it's easier to chew. And what you can do, you can do a number of things with this. I'm only going to use about a quarter of a cucumber. Um, you can slice it in half first and then just do nice thin slices. And that'll look really pretty in your salad. And I would, with my big salads, I kind of want to know what I'm eating. So I don't want to chop everything super tiny. I want to put it so that I can feel like, oh, that's a cucumber when I bite into it. The next thing we're going to do is some sugar snap peas. I've got a handful of them. They're coming into season now, which is so fun to see them in the store and they're so fresh and vibrant. And I'm just, I've already cut the ends off and washed them. And I'm just going to cut them into like thirds. And again, that's just so their chunks are still big enough, but um, they're small enough that I can kind of get that perfect bite too. You don't want these big fat pieces either. Radish. I want to show you guys how I store my stuff. Jeff and I yesterday were talking about how we love glass jars. I take my radishes when I get home and I pull all the greens off and I wash them, but I don't cut them because when you cut a vegetable and leave it in the fridge, it's going to oxidize faster. So what I do is I just put it in this fun glass jar. So when I open my fridge to make a salad, I'm like, ooh, radishes. And I don't know about you guys, but I crave radishes. Something about a radish is just so delicious. Remember that you're eating the rainbow too, so you want to get all the colors. So the radish will give you the red. And you can also buy the Easter egg radishes, which are purple and white. But if you look at your salad and all you see is green, you're not going to get excited about that. You want to have a bunch of different colors in there. So I'm just going to cut these in half and then quarter them. If you're someone who feels like radishes are a little too like spicy, then cut them thinner. Slice them super thin. But anyway, that's going to go into my salad. I know you guys can't see behind the, the phone. So that's in. Uh, the next thing is some parsley, some kind of herb. Like we could put some basil in as well. Uh, I've got a couple basil leaves and some parsley. And that, you're going to get that fun little bite like, ooh, I just got a basil leaf. What was that? I have, people say that to me all the time. Like, what's, what's, what are those flavors? Because they're just used to just greens. So this is what I wish people would do when I go to a restaurant and order a salad. Like get a little creative, you know. Next thing is a, a, a carrot. And this one's kind of a red carrot. It's not the typical orange. The ones that are in the bunches with the green still on them are going to be a lot more vibrant and they're going to have a lot more nutrition than those big fat juicing carrots that have been sitting there forever and they're all cracked. And this is just a fun way. You can just use a peeler and just peel some carrot shreds um, and put that in your cell and that looks really pretty. And I'm just doing about half the carrots so the strips aren't too long and then that'll go into my bowl. Put those guys on Facebook. There it is. Um, okay, and then the next thing is something else colorful, a bell pepper. Um, some people can't eat nightshades, and I kind of go off and on of eating peppers and not eating them, but when they're in season, I tend to eat them more. And when they're $5.99 a pound, I don't buy them, but when they're $1.99 or $2.99, I get them because that means they're more in season and they're cheaper. Cut off one strip and cut them whatever size you want. You can kind of julienne them. Um, I don't really like julienne in my salad. I'll tell you why. You, you get a bite and it's so long and you're trying to chew on it and the rest of the salad's already in your mouth. So I like to cut it into little smaller pieces like so. Make, make your salad making like a fun adventure and think about how much nutrition and vibrancy you're getting into your body. Uh, the next ingredient and one of the last ones is a stalk of celery. I'm probably only going to use about a third. Not everybody loves celery as much as I do. But celery has natural sodium in it. It has electrolytes. It's so nutritious and it adds that crunch that we're looking for, especially when we're eating raw. Sometimes we miss out on that crunch. So a little bit of celery in there. And then I also keep my avocados in a glass jar. Like I used one yes, half of one yesterday in our smoothie. So this is the other half. So then it keeps it fresher longer in the jar. I'm going to just slice it thin and I'm going to add that to the top of my salad versus putting it in now. So it's sliced and ready to go. I sprouted my own alfalfa and clover sprouts in this fun jar. This is a half gallon jar. You can get these at most hardware stores. Uh, this has been sprouting for about five to six days and I rinsed them all yesterday and got all the hulls off. And now they're just so beautiful and perfect. And sprouts, for, especially for people that are vegan, 
are one of the most uh, high protein foods that you can get. So they're just super yummy. Um, I don't like to put too many in because they soak up all the dressing. So try and kind of spread them out and sprinkle them. You could also put these in smoothies like yesterday, the one I made yesterday is a great way to use up your sprouts. Uh, another one is fenugreek sprouts. I don't like to make them green. I just like to get little tails on them and just a little sprinkle because they can be a little bit bitter. But look at that. We are, we've got so much nutrition in this salad now. And then the last thing I'll add in, probably I'll do it at the end, is some of the natural zing almonds. I already soaked and dehydrated these so they're really crunchy and you can just sprinkle those on the top of your salad. That or pumpkin seeds, which I already sprouted and dehydrated as well and put back in the bag. I don't know if you can see that, but I wrote on there, dehydrated. Um, so we're gonna set that aside and now I'm gonna make my ranch dressing. Now this ranch dressing is a hit because um, most people that have tried it are like, whoa, like it becomes their favorite dressing. I have a gal here in Bend who puts it on everything and she brings it everywhere. And she's like, I got the ranch, I got the ranch and her husband loves it. So make a note of this. You guys got recipes in your email. For those of you guys watching me Facebook Live, I'll just say all the ingredients if you wanna write it down. So we're gonna start with cashews. Now these are the natural zing cashews and they're premium. So they're whole cashews, they're not pieces. You don't wanna get the pieces and here's why. When you get almonds or cashews or any nut that is already in pieces, especially in a bulk bin, you're getting 10 times as much bacteria on those things because of all the open sides. They're probably gonna go rancid much quicker. So if you can buy it already packaged from a company like Natural Zing, where it's got whole cashews, you're gonna get way less side effects or reactions from the nuts. For me with cashews, what normally happens is I get mucusy and I lose my voice, but I've learned how to trick my, not trick my body, but how to like overcome that, which is I soak them overnight in water and then I dehydrate them. And so I put a little apple cider vinegar in the water too because that's kind of antibacterial. And that works for me. And then the cashews have a little bit of a vinegar flavor, which is super nice. And uh, then I just put them back in the bag and I wrote dehydrated. I kind of hear that they're, they're crunchy. And then that way that gets rid of any bacteria that might be on them. And that's just my way of doing them from long term being a raw foodist and finding out cashews. In my, you know, if I eat too many, it, I react. So one and a half cups of cashews going in. You could use macadamia nuts or um, that's probably pretty much the only one. You could use pine nuts, but they're really expensive. Uh, then one cup of water. It seems funny that we've got more nuts than water. I might need to add a little bit more, but um, we don't want, we want it to be thick and creamy. Uh, the next ingredient is our lemon juice or you could use apple cider vinegar. So it says four teaspoons of lemon juice, but honestly I'm a lemon freak. so. I put the whole lemon in, which is probably a couple tablespoons at least. Um, or you could use apple cider vinegar, which is about a tablespoon. So I'm gonna put it all in just because I, I know I'm gonna want more lemon, I love lemon. Uh, the next ingredient is some salt. We've got the natural zinc hem hem Himalayan pink salt. And I'm gonna use um, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Seems like a lot, but your salad is pretty bland, right? And remember what I said yesterday, that salt has so many minerals. 82 minerals and our bodies are so mineral deficient that salt is actually a good thing for us. We just don't want to use that white iodized salt or even sea salt that's white. We want to use some colorful salt like the pink Himalayan. Uh, next ingredient is some onion powder and I like onion powder over raw onion in this because I don't want that bite. I want it to be like smooth like a real ranch dressing, something that kids would like. So this is one teaspoon of onion powder. And then I've also got garlic powder. Now you could use one clove of garlic if you want. Uh, I find that the garlic powder I like better because when I use raw garlic in my dressings now, I, get, I notice my tongue kind of gets, I can taste too much garlic on it. I'm getting picky in my age. Um, so that's it. You could also add a little bit of this yummy biryani olive oil if you wanted to get a little extra fat. If you're keto, add like a quarter cup of olive oil to make it even richer, but you don't really need to. And that one's from Natural Zing as well. Uh, let me make sure everybody can see my blender. I know you guys can on Zoom, and I think I can get part of the blender in the in the phone. Um, so now we're going to blend. We're not going to add the herbs. If you guys have the recipe and you're following along, you'll see that there's dill, Italian seasoning, and basil. If I blended that in now, it would turn it green, and that would look like a green goddess. And I want it to be like a, a ranch with the flex. So now I'm just going to blend this until it's smooth. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm listening for the rattle and I still hear it, so I'm gonna turn it up again. Yeah, you want to just make sure, and this, I get this question a lot from my students, like, my cheese didn't turn out like yours. I'm like, did you blend it long enough? Just take it, do a dish while you're waiting for it to blend. Um, and you will notice that I went up to high pretty quickly. Like, you don't need to keep it on low and baby it. Just get it up on high, get it blending. And then always be sure to turn it back down to low and to zero, because if you start your blender on high, it's very shocking. Okay, now I'm going to add the Italian seasoning um and the dill so it's a teaspoon of dill and this is just dried dill but once my dill in my garden is growing i'm going to be putting fresh dill you better believe i'm putting fresh dill in it which would probably be like a tablespoon of chopped fresh dill italian seasoning i have oregano in my garden right now which i could use um, but this is a teaspoon of dried italian it's just convenient but of course when you have fresh herbs always go for that with the basil i am going to use a fresh leaf and i'm just going to cut it with this is called a chiffonade just into like a thin ribbon. I rolled it up and then you just really need like one or two basil leaves and I'll throw that in and then we'll just gently blend. We're not going to go crazy with it. We just want to kind of gently blend those herbs in. And that's good. That should be good. So now we've got this beautiful dressing. Ooh, la, la. I'm going to pour it in this bottle. Uh, keep your old dressing bottles and if you can get the label off, great. Keep it in glass. I mean, you could store it in something like this, but this fits in your door of your fridge really easily, and it's way more appealing in a dressing bottle. So I like to hold on to my old dressing bottles. This is actually quite thick, and I know that as it um, sits in the fridge, it's gonna probably not come out of this jar. So what I'll do is add a little bit more water, but first I'll just coat my salad, since it's at the moment it's not too thick. I'll go ahead and coat this salad. So. I don't know, everybody's different in the amount of dressing that they like. I'm kind of one of those people that loves a lot of dressing. So you're going to go ahead and just put a, however much salad you want or dressing you want on your salad. And that's why I like this big bowl because I can really get it fully coated. Everybody's different. Some people like to just drizzle their dressing on their salad as they go. But I like my salad tossed and looking really good. And um, what I love is when I put it back in this bowl, all the goodies that sank to the bottom will be on the top. So I can see like all the colors. This looks amazing. I mean, for me in my time zone, it's not even breakfast time for me yet. So I'll be holding on to this for later. But see how beautiful that looks when you just pile a huge salad in front of you. And we can do now our avocado. I'll use this metal spoon. I always like to use a metal spoon to get my avocado out because it, it looks a lot prettier when you scoop it out. I'm all about the visual appeal. So I'm going to just lay that nicely. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, some other salad toppers that are really fun. Natural Zing has nutritional yeast flakes. And for those people who are new to being plant-based or vegan and you miss your cheese, this is a super awesome cheese substitute. So you can sprinkle a little bit of this on top. Um, I would just say don't do it every day for every meal. You want to kind of save nutritional yeast for a treat. But when you're new and you're like, I just need the flavor, this is going to really keep you staying on plant-based and like not missing your cheese. So go for it, which is what I did when I first started. But now I just, I, I use it sparingly when I feel like I need a little extra. Uh, and then the last thing we'll do is we'll put some of our almonds on. And you could also do pumpkin seeds. Um, I just love almonds though. Almonds are one of my superfoods. When I got my gut test, they're like, almonds are your superfood. So I'm happy with that. Um, so then I guess I could just for color, just put a little bit more carrot on top and just to make that color pop. And this is like if you're serving a guest, if it's just for you, maybe you're not as, but you want, so if you're trying to get your family or your husband or your wife to start eating this way, you want them to be excited, right? And being in the kitchen, for those of you guys who are looking for a hobby, being in the kitchen and creating food is one of the most creative things you can do. Look at that. Yum! <laughs> I wish it was lunchtime, but I'm not hungry. So, anyway, back to you, Helen. Any questions? <laughs> hey, Elena, this is Jeff. Um, you can have Hi. a salad for breakfast. Yeah, but I don't eat breakfast. But yeah, you can if you if you <laughs> definitely if you are a breakfast person, this would be a great breakfast. You're right. <laughs> 
I definitely All like right. getting as much that? color in the salad. The purple cabbage, I love putting that in there, and the red pepper. Yes. I actually was going to do that, and then I forgot to buy it. Oops. <laughs> we get a lot of um, uh, yellow and uh, and orange peppers, too. Yes. I, I try and buy the rainbow colors, just not the green, right? No green peppers. Right, right. Yeah, I don't eat the green ones anymore. <laughs> the green gives people gas, and yeah. So, um, we that. use... At Natural Zing, we only sell whole nuts. I totally agree with what you said about the cashew pieces. We've had some people that make a cashew ice cream and they've, they, they always have people trying to sell them different cashews, but they've tried other people's cashews and it just doesn't work. So you definitely need a high quality product if you're gonna be you making know, like dressings and creamy things with cashews. Exactly. And I'm pretty new to your products, Jeff, to Natural Zing's products. And I'm so excited that you sent me all these products to try out. But I am such a cashew snob and your guys' cashews are amazing. Like when I open them, like, oh, this is the kind of cashew that, yeah. So like what you said, they're not, you can tell they're not steamed. Like they don't have that smell coming out of them. Quality, it's all about the quality of the nuts and seeds you're using for sure. Yeah. And I, that goes with almonds too. Um, Another topping that I have a friend that they put on salad is they'll put their protein powder right on the salad. Just oh. sprinkle it on there or maybe spirulina. Yeah, spirulina. It's good. So hemp, like the hemp protein, just sprinkle that right over your salad. Yeah. That's a good idea. Put and then, yeah, I love on. spirulina on there for sure. Yeah. So if you're new to like spirulina on salad, and I'm sure you can attest to this, Jeff, we so we used to do all these retreats with David Wolf, and there'd be like sometimes a hundred participants, and some you know I got onto it like we started the staff started eating spirulina in our salad, and we'd all be walking around with green lips, and like it tastes like cheese. It's the best way I can describe it. It sounds weird, but then it kind of caught wind, and everybody's like asking for spirulina for their salads, and it just became everybody walking around with these green lips, and um, once you get on to spirulina on salad, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. Thanks for that you know, we also offer, we have a, a spirulina crispy. It's kind of like a bacon bit, but it's 100% spirulina. And that even tastes more like, you know, has that meaty kind of bacony flavor. Yes. Some people I love that. that. Bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. My, um, my son used to just eat the spirulina crispies out of the bag. So, I mean, we're always trying new things like, like dull seaweed. You know, things that are salty, you know, kids tend to like. They the do. The olives they like. Yeah. Um, so we have used that. He used to eat those. Yeah, I'm wondering if you could mix like, um, you could do like a nutritional yeast and, and hemp protein mix maybe. Yeah, that would be good. Maybe throw or a little onion powder in there or something. A little crushed nuts on there. Yeah, that sounds good. So many ideas for salads. So don't think that salads are dull and boring. You can, like Jeff's saying, like you, there's so many op options that you can do, even with a plant-based salad. Like you don't have to have meat on your salad. You can add other things to it. Now, what I do also is I'll buy some um, fermented, some raw fermented sauerkraut, and I'll just do a spoonful or two on a salad. And then I'm getting the probiotics daily. Yeah. I don't do a lot of it, you know, you can't, you don't want to eat a lot of it, but you know, cause I'll get special mixes of the sour, the raw sauerkrauts. There's a lot in the stores around here. Yeah, like but it's the, also easy to make it. Yeah, like a tablespoon and you can even smash it in with your avocado and use that as a dressing. Like, especially if you're traveling, it's a great salad dressing is avocado mashed with sauerkraut and then you just sprinkle, like stir that into your salad. Sometimes I'll do berries like blackberries. I like to do the non-sweet sweet berries once in a while a raspberry yeah that's yummy i love berries on salad <laughs> <laughs> so you you're skipping breakfast these days uh yeah well i'm actually yeah i like to do my green juice in the morning and then i don't eat a meal till like 12 1 or 2 depending on the day depending on if i've exercised yeah that's just what we're is it me. intermittent fasting yeah I, just, I mean, yeah. that's basically I'm what hungry. I'm doing. I definitely, I wake up and do a green drink. Yeah, right? I mean, are you hungry in the morning? No. 
Yeah, me neither. And and I always like figure if I'm not hungry, then my body doesn't want it. I know some people like some say I have to eat breakfast because it's good for me, but I just I just follow my intuition. Yeah, and I'll even exercise, and I don't find that I'm hungry, but I do like to eat within like an hour or two of exercising. Yes. Yeah. After. Um. Yeah, you got to have a good dressing. You got to have a couple go-to dressing options if you're, you know, to make salads more fun. Yeah, and these dressings, like this one will last like a week. So, you know, you don't have to make dressing every day. And that's the thing I tell people, and I know you guys tell people this too, like on Sunday, prepare a bunch of food for the week, like your dressings and maybe cut some of your veggies and put them in glass jars. And then you come home from work and you can just throw a bunch of stuff into a bowl. It doesn't have to be like every day spending an hour in the kitchen. So you have um, lemon juice and apple cider vinegar in that one? Just lemon. You could do either or. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're both. Yeah, good. that helps it to keep fresh longer. Exactly. Yeah. So in the presentation that everyone's going to get today, there is a um, some salad ideas and there's also um, some dressing bases and, and spices that you can use to make making dressings easier. Cool. So that's going out in the handout in the email. Yes. OK, so if you're watching me on my Facebook Live, just go to uh, email info at naturalzing.com, info at naturalzing.com, and tell them you want to be added to the five day challenge because it's just day two. And then you'll get all the recipes and all the stuff. Yeah, and there's um, there's going to be a slide on that, too, for the Clean Food Tribe, the people on the Facebook group. Awesome. Yeah. I can turn my Facebook around and show the screen. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and there's Jeff for everybody that wants to see who's talking. <laughs> okay, awesome. so we, we added a few um, a few slides on here. So you can sprinkle with protein powder as just mentioned. You could yeah, throw yeah. some goji berries on there. As you saw, Elena mentioned the nutritional yeast the crushed walnuts, the sauerkraut, you know, even throw fresh fruit, oranges, berries. Yeah, whatever's in season. I, I always go with what's in season. It's awesome, yeah. Yes, fresh berries are great. This time of year, we're gonna get to, uh, a lot very soon. So strawberries, raspberries. Uh, we have a huge amount of black raspberries that grow on our property. So oh, we lucky you. harvest those and enjoy those. Yeah. Some salad dressing bases, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, again, apple cider vinegar, uh, Dijon mustard, uh, wonderful creamy options like we made today. And you can add some spices in there, sea salt, pink salt, black pepper, chili powder. Italian seasoning. So anything that you want to add in there. So, you know, I just want to quickly say about the Dijon mustard is that my friend, Sarah, I got in her car the other day and she had Dijon mustard in the, her door, like the door of her car. And I just laughed and she just, she has it all the time and she uses it for salad dressing. I mean, it's like her favorite go-to dressing. So yeah, that's a really great quick trick, especially when you're traveling. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. What was? Can you hear me now? Jeff, come back. I can't hear. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think we're done to wrap up. He, I just lost my sound because Jeff went away. <laughs> no, that's awesome that your friend keeps the... Uh, Mustard in the door of the car. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> we got to do what we got to do. That's right. That's right. Hey, I've heard weirder stories, so. Yeah. Well, this so has been really see, fun. <laughs> as you can what see, we, we have had about? some technical challenges. Um, but, you know, if you don't try something, especially don't try something new, you never learn. So. 
I always look at these experiences as what can I learn from this experience? And um, after yesterday, we added some new things. And now I find out that I can't hear Elena when I go to Facebook Live. So that's that's interesting. We'll, we'll figure that one out tomorrow. But this is actually a good lesson for you uh, going on a clean food diet because you know you might be out with friends or snacking with your kids and maybe you, maybe you reach in and grab a snack that might not be the best ever. But you know what? Just learn from the experience. Pick yourself back up. Don't beat yourself up. And what did you learn from the experience? Well, you learned, well, I need to have some healthy snacks around for myself. I always have a bowl of fruit on the table. I have plenty of vegetables in the refrigerator, cut up carrots, celery sticks, ready to go. And when I'm out and about, I always keep a green bar in my purse. So if I'm, you know, it's two o'clock, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't eat lunch. I can reach in my bag and I can pull out my green bar and I can have a healthy snack. So there are no mistakes. There are only learning opportunities. So keep going, pick yourself up and prepare and make sure that you have some healthy snacks around. And a great way to start is to eat a salad every day. Jeff, do you have anything else to add? Nope, he's good. Elena? I don't want you to give feedback. Um, yeah, just looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Uh, I forget what I'm doing tomorrow. It might be granola, but guaranteed it's going to be something quick and easy and fun that you guys can make for eating clean. Awesome. We'll see you guys so we'll see you tomorrow. It was great seeing you. Yay. Bye. We'll Bye. see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.